Hi everyone, it's Darlene. Welcome back for another card video. Today I have a Halloween card, but I'm using a Christmas set. It's called Quirky Christmas by Avrielle. And I'm also using the Got Candy set by Ellen Hudson, which is discontinued, but you really just need a pumpkin stamp. I'm going to mark the center of this A2 size cardstock. This is Nina Solar White. I'm gonna stamp my pumpkin in Memento Tuxedo Black at the very bottom. And I'm also going to stamp it on a post-it so that I could use it as a mask. I'm gonna go ahead and color my pumpkin now. I'm using Copic markers. I'm gonna use the darkest color along the outside. And I'm also gonna color to the right and to the left of all of these pumpkin lines. And then I'll take my medium color YR04 and just kind of move toward the center. And then I'll finish it off by coloring everything with the YR12, it's just a really light orange color. My first color is Gorgeous Grape by Stampin' Up. It's one of the new colors. I thought it would be fun to turn these Christmas uh, trees into witch hats. So this one's gonna be the one that goes on top of the pumpkin, so I'm gonna stamp it separately. I'm gonna put my mask on top of the pumpkin so my next trees will look like they are, well, their hats behind the pumpkin. I'm using Granny Apple Green, which is another new Stampin' Up color. And I'm just gonna hang the trunk off the bottom of the cardstock so it looks like a hat. My next color is VersaFine Black Onyx. You can see when I stamped it, it didn't stamp the whole thing. So I really took a huge risk here to put it right back where I found it and I stamped it down and lucky enough, it came out perfectly. So here's a close up. My next set of witch hats are behind these. So I'm gonna stamp the corners onto some post-it paper and cut them out and just mask the corner. That's the only part I really need to cover. So I went ahead and put those on. My next color is going to be pumpkin pie. So you can see I'm sort of randomly selecting these colors and I'm gonna stamp to the right of my black one. I'm trying to make them also at different levels. So some of the hats higher, some of them lower. And I'm also gonna need to mask this orange one. So I uh, uh, stamped it on a post-it and covered it up. And now I'm doing the final one in purple on the right. And then I have another black one to the left. I already masked my granny apple green. Now notice I'm gonna put my stamp jig on here since I messed up the last black one. Just in case I needed to stamp it again, I didn't need to. And then again, I will mask the corner of that tree and place it on. And then finally, I decided to use pumpkin pie again for my last tree to the left here. So I'm gonna re remove all of my masking tape and now my stamping is done. I'm gonna go ahead and cut out this other tree, which is going to be my pumpkin hat. Now I wanted to have a face on this pumpkin, but I didn't really have a face stamp. So I went ahead and penciled in a face based on a stamp that I had uh, that was a little bit too small, so I just thought I'd recreate it using a marker. So I did it in pencil first, and now I'm coloring it in with my Micron 05 pen. And I kind of like the way it turned out. It's kind of a little cutesy sort of uh, face for the pumpkin. I put some Stampin' Up! Dimensionals on the hat and placed it on top. And now for the sentiment, I got it from the Gots Candy set. It's just Happy Halloween. I placed it right above those witch hats on the right and stamped it in Subversifying Black Onyx ink. And then I trimmed the white off the top so that it was three and a quarter inches high. There are some cute bats in this trick or treat set by Simon Says Stamp. So I'm just gonna randomly stamp them. There's kind of a, a small one and a smaller one. So I'm just gonna randomly place them just to kind of fill that white area just a little bit. And that'll be it for this panel. So I'll put some ATG tape runner on the back and adhere to a Hero Arts note card, which is black on the outside and white on the inside. And that is the card for today. So a fun way to stretch your stamps to include another holiday. Hope you enjoyed that and I will see you next time. Thanks for watching.